Praise God. We want to thank God for another wonderful day that the Lord has given us. It's a blessing to have the grace to see another day. Many, they wish to see this day, but they couldn't. You and me, we've seen this day by the grace of God. It's good to start with him who had allowed us to enter into this grace. I want to start by inviting our friend, the Holy Spirit of God, to start with us. Let us pray and invite him. Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Fill our heart this morning as we worship and as we pray. Fill this temple as we pray and as we worship. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Now we are under the influence of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. I want to take you from the book of Psalms of David, chapter number 54. I'll read verse number 4. It reads, and I read for the glory of God. Surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustained me. Surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustained me. May the Lord bless his word in Jesus Christ's name. What a wonderful word that we are reading. The scripture tells us, God surely is our help. And he sustain us himself. He sustain you. Today, as you're starting this day, you cannot do it alone. You need somebody to help you. David said, God is my help. And surely, the Lord will sustain me. If God going out with you this morning, he'll be able to help you everywhere where you're weak, God is aware. He'll strengthen you on your weakness. He'll guide you where you're lost. He will lift you up when you fell because he is your helper. If God is your helper, receiving is like breathing. The Bible says, the Lord is the one who sustained me. If he sustain David, he can sustain you too today. What the challenges you are going to face in your office? May the Lord help you today. What challenges you are going to face in your academic May the Lord sustain you. May the Lord lift you up. May the Lord give you that help. What challenges you are going to face in your office? May the Lord sustain you. May the Lord help you today. As you are starting with him, everywhere you go, he'll go with you and give you victory where you don't even expect it. The situation that you have given up, go back. Because the Lord is going to help you. Go back. Do it again. The application that you made and you are not successful, apply again. Because this time you are not going to do it alone. You do it with the Lord. The scripture says, is your helper. is the one that is going to sustain you. I pray that God will do it for you today, this morning, this afternoon, this evening, this night. Time does not matter. With God, all things are possible. Time does not matter. Distance is not a barrier. Wherever you are watching, may God help you and sustain your life lift you up again, strengthen you up again so that you can walk again if you cannot run. Then you can fly for the glory of God. Your life can never be the same. I know the Lord will help David. He will do it for you. The Lord will help Moses to cross the river, to cross the Red Sea. He will do it for you. The Lord will help Elijah to cross the river Jordan, who do it for you. The Lord will help Elisha to cross the river, who do it for you. It's all about putting the Lord first and God will do it for you. Today, I declare and I declare your life will never be the same because the Lord is going to help you, is going to sustain you in Jesus' name. If you believe, please call the number you are seeing on the screen. We'll be more than happy to come back together to you because we believe together, you and us together, can stop Satan from killing, stealing, and destroying their life. 
You deserve the best as a child of God. Nothing can stop you. Yes, kumugirani, zabuino, zikadali, zikubwela. Surely, the goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. I'm waiting to see you again tomorrow morning, the same time, on the same channel. God bless you, and bye-bye.